To enter this month's gift card giveaway, all you have to do is drop a like on the video, comment something down below, and also stay subscribed to the channel. Good luck, guys, and enjoy the video. Yo, how's it going, YouTube? My name is Rich, or right away, welcome back to the channel. Today, what I got for you guys is, of course, you know, the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video, and today, we are going to be talking about some potential DLC weapons that could be coming into the future of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I actually have sort of a leaked DLC weapon list. Um, it's sort of similar to the weapon list I was talking about a couple of days ago, I think about a week ago or so. Um, um, and it had that list full of like DLC melee weapons and stuff like that. And a lot of the things on that list became true. Well, now we have a leaked list of DLC weapons that are sort of like ranged weapons, like the uh, like the Peacekeeper or like the PPSH, stuff like that in Black Ops 3. Um, so we have a list here. I believe it was leaked like in the beginning of Black Ops 3. So it's a pretty old DLC weapon like leak or whatever. Um, but we're going to go over it today and we're going to see which DLC weapons could come into the future of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So if you guys enjoyed the video, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Also, subscribe subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new and uh, with that being said let's jump right into it so I will flash the list on the screen right now and like I said this was leaked um, I believe about like in the beginning of Black Ops 3 and some of the weapons on this list became true it's really really awesome how some of the things that were leaked in the beginning of Black Ops 3 uh, actually came into the game which is really nice and the person who leaked this list uh, has leaked a lot of things in the past and were pretty much true so it's sort of reliable this thing so anyway with that being said we're gonna go over the list right now we're gonna go over each weapon that's on the list and kind of break it down and see how likely it is to uh, have this DLC weapon in the game. So anyway, the first one here is the Desert Eagle. I'm sure a lot of you guys do know the Desert Eagle pistol from Call of Duty. I mean, we've seen it in COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, even like Modern Warfare Master, the new game that's out this year. So we've seen the Desert Eagle before. It's a pretty popular pistol in the Call of Duty franchise and just in the Call of Duty history in general. So it would be pretty nice to see this as like a pistol in Black Ops 3. We don't really have like a, like a pistol like this in Black Ops 3 yet. We we only have, I believe, the Marshall 16 and the Rift E9. So we have like a like a shotgun sort of pistol. And then we also have like an energy sort of laser directed pistol, which is the Rift E9. So we don't have like a generic pistol like the Desert Eagle in the game right now. So it would be pretty nice to actually see that. It's a little bit of a change for the pistols, DLC weapons in Black Ops 3 currently. So like I said, it would be pretty nice to see the Desert Eagle. Anyway, the next one here is the double barrel shotgun. Uh, it says likely the Olympia from Black Ops 1. As you guys know, Black Ops 1, it did have a shotgun in it and that that was the Olympia. Now the Olympia, it wasn't the best shotgun in the world. I actually did a video recently on my channel and we messed around with some mod tools and we used the Olympia in Black Ops 3. It was really, really nice to use some mod tools and, you know, some weapons from past Call of Duty games. Um, but the Olympia was in there. I actually had a lot of fun using the Olympia, um, you know, in mod tools in Black Ops 3. It was really, really nice. It's sort of a change of pace because we don't have like any DLC weapons of the shotguns. We only have one DLC shotgun in Black Ops 3 right now and it's the Banshee. So it's like, it's not your generic sort of shotgun. You know, it's a it's a laser sort of weapon, sort of like the um, the Rift E9, like I was just talking about before. So we don't have like a generic shotgun DLC weapon in the game, and you know the Olympia could definitely become into the game. And also on the Fury Song, the Fury Song DLC weapon, it does say the Olympia on the side of it. So so I really don't know the significance of that. Maybe they the two and two connect, and we could potentially see the Olympia as a DLC weapon in Black Ops 3. Just let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to see the Olympia as a shotgun DLC weapon. I mean, I think there's a lot more better options. To to go um but i'd be cool with the olympia the olympia is from black ops 1 my favorite call of duty i'd be cool with the olympia next up here we have the dsr 50 from black ops 2 as you know in black ops 3 right now we have uh two sniper dlc weapons we have the rsa interdiction the first dlc sniper and then they came out later on with the dbsr which is sort of the dsr of black ops 3 but it's a little bit different it's not the exact dsr that you're probably familiar with in you know black ops 2 it's a little bit different i actually prefer the black ops 2 dsr over the dbsr that we have in black Ops 3, uh, but nonetheless, it would be cool to see the DSR-50. I don't think they would release this just because it's so similar to the DBSR. I, I really don't think they would actually, you know, go that to the lengths of that and, you know, release another, you know, sniper sort of with the same exact name, you know what I'm saying? So the DSR-50, I don't think it's that likely to have it in Black Ops 3 right now, but who knows? Anyway, next one, we have the FAMAS from Black Ops 1. We actually do have the FAMAS in Black Ops 3 right now, and it's called the FFAR, a fantastic DLC weapon. This came out a little bit ago, but honestly, one of my favorite DLC weapons in Black Ops 3 right now just because it's from Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 was my first Call of Duty and my favorite Call of Duty, so it was a nice little throwback weapon to have in BO3. But yeah, FAMAS, it's on this list, and it sort of became true. So we have, like, a couple of weapons already becoming true. We have the DSR-50, that kind of came true, but it's called the DBSR, and uh, we also have the FAMAS, which is sort of like uh, the Black Ops 1, you know, FFAR that we have in the game. So a couple of things became true, which is kind of nice. Next up, we have the Flintlock Pistol. I actually did some research on this thing, and it's sort of like the weapon from Advanced Warfare, the uh, the Blunderbuss or whatever. It's sort of like that. It's sort of like a 
shotgun pistol in a sense i don't really think we'll have the flintlock pistol because it sort of relates to the marshall 16 a little bit uh, but it's sort of like a shotgun pistol it's sort of like the weapon from advanced warfare if you guys know i'll show a picture on the screen right now and kind of relate the two um but yeah it's the flintlock pistol is sort of like the blunderbuss from advanced warfare so it's kind of interesting uh i don't really think this is likely but who knows next up we have the fn scar the fn scar the scar has been a fantastic weapon in a lot of call of duty games like we have the scar h the scar l the fn scar like we've seen the scar a lot in call of duty games this thing is kind of repetitive it's came up before so i would love to see this thing it was a very powerful assault rifle and uh, it would be nice to see that in black ops 3 next we have the thompson from world at war i think this would be an awesome awesome weapon considering we have been getting leaks of world war 2 which is basically the newest call of duty for 2017 we have been getting leaks around that and uh the thompson from world at war was a very very popular sort of um weapon in that game so it would be nice to see the thompson as a submachine gun in black ops 3 um also kind of relating to the world war 2 uh kind of leaks that we've been getting for cod 2017 i'm very excited for that so it would be nice to see some throwback weapons next up we have the lsat from black ops 2 this overpowered lmg man this thing was so much fun to use and uh people just used to camp behind riot shields all the time using the lsat um sort of like the the shotgun dlc weapons that we have currently in black ops 3 we only have one uh lmg dlc weapon which is kind of weird we only have the r70 ajax as the dlc weapon in black ops 3 right now so, so i definitely think there's more room for lmgs in black ops 3 to be dlc weapons like we have so many ar so many smgs like i think it's time to maybe bring in some different weapons like an lmg for a change or maybe even like a shotgun because we only have one of each of those categories so i definitely think we need to see some more lmgs in the game next up we have the m1 garand from world at war we actually do have the mx grand in black ops 3 currently this is a pretty older dlc weapon um but yeah we have the mx grand so that became true next up we have the mdr i literally wasn't sure what that weapon was so if you guys know the mdr just let me know in the comment section uh moving on here we have the mp7 this thing always comes up man the mp7 is such a repetitive sort of weapon to talk about in black ops 3 because we've seen the coding in the in the files of black ops 3 we've seen actual gameplay of this thing we've seen images like we've seen pretty much everything of the mp7 and it's just not an official dlc weapon yet so hopefully we can see the mp7 from black ops 2 it's a very popular sort of uh, smg in call of duty we've seen it in many call of duty we've seen it in black ops 2 mw3 i mean we've seen it a lot in call of duty so it would be nice to see an mp7 come into black ops 3 as a dlc some machine gun i mean if i saw this i woke up one day and i literally saw an mp7 in black ops 3 i'd be hyped man i mean it wouldn't be it wouldn't be that much of a surprise considering we've seen gameplay of it we have pictures coding all that stuff of the mp7 already in black ops 3 so it wouldn't be too much of a surprise if this thing actually came into the game but let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to see the mp7 i know a lot of people get excited uh when they see the mp7 sort of in black ops 3 so uh it would be nice to actually see this weapon next up we have the sawed off shotgun just another sort of shotgun but once again i think this would be amazing amazing uh, addition into the game because we only have one shotgun dlc weapon in the game and that's sort of like the banshee and the banshee i feel like it's not your generic sort of shotgun so i definitely think there's more room for shotguns in black ops 3 right now i mean we have so many ars we have two snipers we have a lot of pistols you know a lot of melee weapons as well so there's definitely room to add a shotgun maybe an lmg like that's really what i'm thinking for the next set of dlc weapons i'm really thinking we are going to get a shotgun or an lmg that's just me personally next up we have the tarak i honestly don't know what the tarak is if, once again if you guys know let me know uh, in the comment section but we have the uzi the mini uzi we've seen the uzi so many times it's an smg uh in call of duty and uh, once again, you know, I wouldn't really mind it. I would be a little bit shocked if this came into the game because we have so many SMGs already. Um, but once again, I wouldn't like be mad if they added the Uzi into Black Ops 3. I mean, honestly, I would play with it. I would try to get a supply drop. So the Uzi, it wouldn't be that bad if it came into supply drops. Next, the last one, we have the ZH-05. Um, I, I, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure this is an assault rifle. You guys can correct me in the comment section once again. We do have some unfamiliar names of weapons and on this list, like the MDR, the Tarak, the ZH-05. So I really don't know what those weapons are personally but if you guys know let me know in the comment section but um anyway guys that's the list that's the leaked list of dlc weapons uh, that we got for black ops 3 uh some of the things on this list as you can see already became true so it would be nice to see a lot of the other things you know come from this list and you know throw it into black ops 3 you know treyarch they are still um you know putting out content for black ops 3 like they're they said in 2017 treyarch said you know as long as people still play our game in 2017 we're going to be coming out with content all the time and you know we've had a lot of dlc weapons uh since they actually 
actually said that statement. So they're adding content all the time, Black Ops 3, and I think they're doing an absolutely amazing job to keep their game fresh. Um, DLC weapons is a great sort of addition into the game. It makes people want to get those DLC weapons, want to play with new weapons, and um, I think this is an awesome addition. So hopefully we do see some DLC weapons soon in the future, maybe things from this list. Let me know in the comment section uh, what weapon from this list of leaked weapons uh, do you guys want to see in, you know, in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and supply drops as DLC weapons. Just let me know your opinions all down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And uh, with that being said, I will catch you guys all on another one.